Hi, this is Karen Greenhouse, and today I'm going to be showing you how to find combinations and permutations using both the Casio Prism calculator and the TI-84 Plus Color Edition calculator, or 84 Plus, doesn't really matter. Um, so first, let's just start with the Casio because it's, a, it's much quicker. Um, so you're going to be in your first menu here option. We're just going to hit Execute. Um, and we need to find the probability, so we know that we have options. And we have a couple more here. If I hit F6, it gives me some more options. And there's my probability. So I'm going to hit probability. And you'll see right here that I've got my permutations and my combinations. So let's sneak on over here to the 84 and see how do we get to that same place. So on the 84, you need to know that you have to go into the math menus. Um, so we're going to choose math. And you, again, want probability. So we're going to arrow over there to probability. And here's again where you'll see the options that we want. So once we get to this menu, now we actually want to actually calculate our combinations and our permutations. So let's just use a simple simple um, calculation. Let's say we have five things and we're going to choose two. And if we're going to do a combination, that means the two I choose, it doesn't matter what order they're in. right? So I just want to know how many different combinations can I make of choosing two things from a group of five, where order does not matter. That would be a combination. So on the Casio, we're going to enter first our n. So you'll notice it's sort of, what do you do here? So I'm going to enter my n value, which is I have five objects, five things. And then I'm going to tell the calculator, this is going to be my combination. I don't care what order, so that's what we're kind of going with here. And I want you to choose two things from that group of five. So how many possible combinations are there? So once I get my entry in, I'm going to hit um, execute, and there is my combinations. There's 10 possible combinations of two things from a group of five. How would I do that on the TI? So I'm going to arrow down or choose choice three. So let's arrow down. I'll do it arrow down this time, hit enter. And so notice it's kind of the same. I have two blank spaces where I'm going to enter my choices. So I'm going to enter uh, five as my first choice. And then I arrow over to get my number of objects chosen, which is two. And I hit enter. And so obviously same choice. So now let's do our permutation. So we're going to use the same group of five things. We're going to choose two, but this time order matters. So how many permutations is there? Um, so for the Casio, I'm already right here. So I'm going to enter my number again, hit my F2 uh, to choose permutations, and then my number that I'm going to choose. And I hit Execute. And there's my solution. TI, I'm going to have to actually go back through the whole process right now. So I can't just enter it again. I have to go back into math. I have to arrow over to my probability. Whoops, I went a little too far there. And this time I want to choose number two. So we're not going to arrow, we're just going to choose number two. And again, once it's up, I type in my two numbers and use my arrow key to get to the second one. So I get the same results, obviously. Uh, it's a little more efficient. With the Casio, uh, you have to remember to go back into the menu with the TI-84. If I'm on the Casio, I can keep using these as much as I want. Let's say I want to do, uh, I, have, I have 10 things. I'm just thinking of my article that I have this attached to. I have 10 Christmas balls, and I'm going to choose six. How many different combinations where order does matter? So I'm going to want to use a permutation. And we're going to choose six of those 10. How many options do I have? That's a lot of options. Who knew Christmas decorating was so uh, big? And now if I do the same thing on the TA84, I have to go back again through the whole process. I can't just do it right on the same screen. I have to go back into math, arrow over to probability, choose permutations again, and now enter my 10, arrow over, and my, oh, no, we wanted six, didn't we? Let's hit six and enter. So again, the Casio Prism is definitely more efficient and you can do many without having to leave the screen and go back through the whole process. So that's it. Thanks.